narito ang programang totoong totoo. Tambayan sa TWIZ. Programang magliliwanag ng ilang mahahalagang mga issue. Tambayan, tambayan sa TWIZ. At ngayon, narito na sila upang maghatid ng saya sa bawat Pilipino. Sa programa Tambayan sa TWIZ. Mm-hmm. Private person, 
own potential and mm-hmm. property is your own right in this and as this person as a chairman of which corporation, which corporation, which corporation separate from the person that person is chairman. Like, okay. like, like, yeah. okay. For example, now, tama ba ako, ah? Pati pa rin. The office of the president is another entity from uh, Mr. Don Camilo. Okay. Ay, sasalita na nga po siguro niya. So, kung siya official, he's authorized to represent another entity, representing another entity, you know, uh, in his uh, person in that capacity, and then another, ay, I mean, in his capacity as a private person, or maari din siya another pa, official by another company. Tama? Hmm. So, pwede siya may tatlong personality na express Tama? Hmm. Or lima? Eh, dalawa lang muna, para hindi magula. Yun yung 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 politik of interest, no? Eh, paano naman yung ano, uh, kung hindi ganitang klaseng direkta yung interest mo dun sa kabila, like for example, kay Bigan ko lang. Hmm. Ano ito yung interest ko ba yung ganyan? Kung nga nung kay Bigan mo lang ang ano? Kung nga, uh, asawa ko lang, yung nag-involve dun sa kabila. Tapos ako na dito, nagkaroon tayo ng transaction. Uh, ano naman? Uh, pwede, hindi. Well, depende kung ano yung, uh, kung ano yung business na tinutukoy. Kasi kung halimbawa, uh, purely personal, halimbawa yung lawyer, uh, that is purely personal uh, engagement with a client. And uh, even that lawyer can uh, withhold information from his wife. So uh, kung ang asawa niya ay involved doon sa ano, eh, not necessary na, uh, lalo na kung hindi na may illegal yun, okay? hindi na may illegal yung activity na ginagawa na doon, kung hindi halimbawa, eh, corporation. Tapos, hinire ng korporasyon ng lawyer. Ako, hindi naman yun. Dahil, uh, not necessarily, uh, it doesn't necessarily follow na yung asawa niya ay maalalaman ang engagement between the corporation and the husband lawyer. And it doesn't have to be current, tama? Uh, let's say, for example, ako ang dating, uh, bossing dyan sa uh, kumpanya na yan, may restriction ako na pakipagpansa, kunwari sa gobyerno, until how many years, tama? Like, for example, I'm uh, a former, uh, uh, nagkatransaksya ko gano'n na ito, hindi na, I become the head here. Uh, Kung baga, yung aking past relationship will still uh, uh, be a conflict of interest. Maybe, uh, kung merong kung, kung meron 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 conflict of interest, there's reason uh, to, to extend that even after the engagement. Mm-hmm. Kasi, uh, meron pang business na para pa mga business na nag, na, na naiiwan doon no yung mga tinatawag na remnants na they still uh they still uh, uh stay alive uh how many years after the engagement so pagka fully completed na yun uh, and there is a presumption na siguro uh, a reasonable time would be 10 years after 10 years pwede na uli or 5 years kasi yung mga yung mga activities na nangyari dahil sa engagement niyo in the past we have already been completely resolved. So, sarado na siya. So, generally, uh, tutaga, ayaw ng uh, uh, society natin, yung mga transaction natin, generally, pinag-ibutrahan yung mga conflict interest na yan. Bakit? Okay. Ayaw eh, yung mga wala. Kasi there, there is a chance of fraud. Okay? Uh, so, kasi kung pwede mo halimbawa, ah, uh, sa isang korporasyon, ikaw yung nag ikaw yung uh, nag-judge, okay? Ikaw yung namimili na nagbibiding ng mga uh, gusto nga mag-participate sa isang activity. Mm-hmm. Tapos isa ka rin sa mga stakeholders ng isa sa mga bidders na nagbibid, tas ikaw yung mag-approve sa so, sarili mo kung kung ma uh, kung ma-approve ba yung bid ninyo. So there is a chance na bibigyan mo ng uh, pabor yung yung uh, bidding corporation kasi may ang broka doon. And that is not fair. Uh, what is the rule there is that there is good faith and that there is equality and, and uh, fairness sa lahat ng dealings and contracts. Fairness, no? Tsaka, isipin mo, in every transaction, it is expected that one party gains from that transaction. Diba? Lang alam mong... One or both. Because you, the other will gain the utilization of what he is buying and the other will also gain from the price that you that uh, was paid to him. Yes. So we both are uh, going to gain. Uh, uh, in a transaction where uh, 
uh, yung policy of interest ng allies ko na, wala namang ibang need apretin sa ano, pero hinihigit ko yung mga uh, stocks ko dito sa kabila kong kumpanya na hindi ko nabibenta para uh, dito ko ikarga yung losses, di ba? Mga ganun, yung lipat-lipat lang ganyan. So, this, that's disadvantageous yun sa isang kumpanya and advantageous to another. Tama? That's right. But yun nga, it all boils down to nanluloko ka kasi ng tao. You're deceiving people uh, in, in order to gain for yourself. Yes. So it's in general uh, pangit and uh, yung ginawa mo sa gobyerno, bawal. Tama? Baka pa din yun sa private. No? Oh. Sa private din bawal. Sa corporation ko, no? certain acts cannot be done by uh, by uh, uh, because of conflict of interest and especially sa bangko. No? Yung pagkotangin mo yung sarili mo, ikaw yung board of trust or board of director ng bangko. Nag-a-approve na ito. Ikaw yung may bangko ka, may meron kayong mga period doon, may utangin mo yan para magtayo ka ng mall. Ikaw din yung may-ari ng bangko. Ikaw din yung may-ari ng bangko. Ikaw nag-approve. Pinayot mo ng mall. Ikaw mga ganun, no? Or pinayot mo ng whatever. Yes. Okay? So, yun. So, yung mga bagay na ay hindi naman generally bawal. Generally bawal, pero pwede pa sa maliwanag mo sa ano, tapos mag-ilaw na in-approve yung mga kasamahan mo sa board. Tama? Meron naman kasi. Election computer officers or something na low. Na, okay, na dinitiklare na yung bago. At this door is not connected to us one way or another, but fully approved by the others. Tama? Well, usually, ang ano, ini-inhibit na yung sarili niya from uh, the determination of uh, approval or disapproval. So you need to show proof that uh, that has been independently approved without your participation and then the bank uh, sees the project as a separate, ano, ano, and really profitable at hindi yung pinanakaw mo ng pera, sinasiphon mo palabas ng bank. Oh, parang ganun, ano? <laughs> and sa gobyerno, ganun din yung, yung sistema. Uh, why do we talk about conflict of interest? So, yun eh. Kasi marami kasi yung appointments na parating, tama? Mm, so, what, what about the appointments? Yun, 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 wala lang. Uh, kasi yun yung mga issues na lalabas dyan na uh, pagkatapos ng pag-upo. Ano yun yung mga chismisan? Kaya yung gumililinaw, ano yung, ano yung konsepto para pag narinig ko yung mga kritisismo, alam mo kung ano yung ibig sabihin, di ba? Alam na nga ito yung maako, ito lang ko sa'yo. Para pag, pagdating ng July 1, di ba? May magsasabi na, bakit siya ano yung nanay na yun? Konti ko interest yan ah. O di, ah, okay. alam mo yung mga tao natin, kung ano yung ibig sabihin. Eh? Pagdating dyan sa appointments, okay. at this appointments, uh, especially itong uh, in-appoint ng presidente, halimbawa, who are going to be members of this cabinet, mm-hmm. That is not conflict of interest because there is clearly no uh, oneness. There is no unity in uh, the capacities or not even in persons. Uh, what I mean is that uh, yung tao na to is going to be conflict of interest with, uh, with this uh, business, business, uh, business or former uh, former relationship. Ah, okay. Eh, meron naman kasi... President, of course. Meron <laughs> meron naman kasi din tayong mechanism in law na nagsasabing kung tayo ay ma-appoint, yeah, yeah. automatically, okay, yung ating, uh, yung ating uh, participation in any other private uh, business, corporation, or any activity, uh, will be pending uh, for the duration and even uh, to some extent uh, more than uh, the uh, period when, when you are up. Pointed. So, so you can divest. Yes, para sa mga business talaga, you have to divest of your holdings. Um, when we mean, uh, when we talk about divestment, we divest uh, yung person na na-appoint ay mag-divest of his holdings in a certain business or corporation. So, kung partner siya dyan, ay uh, alis muna siya dyan kasi ang partner, ibig sabihin niya, kalahati ng kapital niyan, kung dalawa lang sila, kalahati ng kapital ay sa kanya. Pag nag-divest ka, Uh, you won't have the obligation to put up that half 
of the capital, and we won't also have the uh, the right to half of the no, of the benefits of the profits. So, how are you going to company? How are you you just don't have to hold it such that you will uh, uh, such that you are able okay uh, capacitated to exercise the rights that, uh, that are available because of your holdings. So, pwede mo yan siyang i-assign mo na sa asawa mo for a while so that she is going to uh, exercise the rights of ownership of stock and all that stuff. Okay. Hindi mo kailangan na ibenta mo yan and forever lose all of those things. Hindi mo kailangan ganyan. Very good. Very good. Very employment. Bawal na yan. What do you mean employment? Employment. Well, let's say, ay presidente na ganyan itong kumpanya. Tapos kinapoint ka as a Secretary ng ganitong ng ganitong departamento, hindi ka pwede yung magpatuloy na presidente ka pa rin doon. Okay. Sa sarili mong kumpanya, pwede. Uh, uh, hindi na pwedeng, yun nga, you, you, you have to suspend your uh, functioning in that uh, other private, uh, in that private uh, entity. Kasi, unang-una, you, you only have one master. Uh, you, you can only have one master in, in, in when you work in government. You can only have the government as your master. Uh, you cannot have a, a government in a corporation, which is private and probably for business, as another master. So you are you are uh, expected to give your all, uh, for your all of your talents, skills, and uh, knowledge and wisdom into the uh, into the uh, prosecution of your, ano, of your uh, function as a government employee or official. So, kung pagabawal ang mamungkat sa dalawang ilog? Ah, yes. So, in general, in general, yes, private at saka public office, hindi po di usually ang pagsabayin. I think inside the government, may maximum mata na posisyon dalawa lang. Um, may nabasa ako ng isang rule na kung ay ikaw ay sa assistant secretary, pwede kang maging uh, director ng isang ano, pero hindi ka na pwede maging uh, regional director pa doon, at saka talo pa dito, uh, member pa ng board ng ganitong ano ng gobyerno, hmm. dalawa atin pa siya. In general, uh, hindi nga yan pwede, pero meron kasing tinatawag na sa administrative law, may tinatawag na yung uh, ex officio uh, uh, function. Yung ex officio uh, means that uh, yung, because of your existing office, you are automatically in, involved in this, ana, in this other office. So, hindi yan siya, uh, hindi yan siya appointment, hindi yan siya holding of office, but uh, just doing the function because the law says that you have to do it. Katulad ng, kunwari ikaw ay secretary ng DILG, ikaw ay member ng Dangerous Drugs Board, ikaw ay member ng ganitong uh, economic something-something sa bureau uh, na ano, uh, coordinating council, mga ganyan, di ba? Kung ikaw yung dami yan, and those are all in the law, and uh, automatic yun. So, sino yung upo dito, siya na rin yung mga chairman ng ganyan, chairman ng ganoon, ng mga sampiba, sa mga kasitsan, government-owned and controlled corporations, no? Mm-hmm under ng kanyang departamento, mas hindi. Tama? Mm. So, uh, then yun yung ating aspect. Uh, and then, ang safety net naman ito. Ano, uh, so, after na po, certain positions will need to sasalain po ulit ng isang position. Di ba? At i-approve. Oh, yung mga top level na department positions uh-huh. like uh, uh, secretary and I think USEC, mm. di kailangan niya sila i-confirm ng commission and of... Some, uh, some chairmanships, tama? Hmm. In uh, certain... Geosisis. Oo, oh, kailangan yun silang... Eh. So, so meron meron si Kaj. Meron si Kaj. Meron. Meron, meron si Kaj. So, kumbaga... Uh, kasi hindi pa natin makikilala ako nga. Hindi ko pa namumukaan kung sino yung magiging gabinete, di ba? Um, we would like to see... Kasi yung sinasabi ni Bong Wong, if you are, you will look for the most qualified or the, the best uh, suited for government service, that's why yun yung campaign line at uh, start. 
observation on the social uh, effect of uh, what happened during the elections doon sa ino uh, yung actions ng mga tao na sumusuport sa mga uh, kandidato at, uh, ano ang ginawa ng mga kandidato about it and what what I think we can foresee as a possible effect in the society after the election in 2020. Mabalik ang tampay na ka ba tayong outbreak? Ah, wala lang tayo. Ano ang oras ba? Meron na. It's already 12.30. Muli nating balikan. Tambayang sa DWIC. Yes, ito. Nagpapalik po ang tambayan. Ito po si Atty. Ahmed. Uh, at saka kasama natin si JP Varela. Alright. Uh, earlier, we talked about uh, conflict of interest. Ay, hindi. Hindi na po nang sitting at ano, Atty. Ahmed. Hmm, bakit ba? Bakit? Ito. For the two purposes na. Para yun yung ating mga listeners. Pati ako, natuto ko sa'yo. Para doon sa'yo na hmm. maintindihan niya konsepto na yan dahil uh, kung magiging uh, alam mo yun yung mga kritisismo tungkol sa content of interest alam natin ang ibig sabihin at bakit siya mahalaga pero hmm. siya na din supongo mismo bilang uh, incoming president no? merong mga sinang gobyerno dyan na uh, ginawa para putisin yung kanilang pamilya <laughs> ah, yung, <laughs> yung ano yung uh, commission ng government oh, which is lucky Ah, how can you perform now? Uh, is it yung... It's uh, put up right after Cory uh, uh, Corazon Latino, the president, uh, you know, came into office and uh, right at the heels of uh, the ouster of uh, Mr. Marcos, the uh, senior, the dictator. So, uh, and then it's how many years? It's like the 30 something years. Saka wala silang na... The commission was supposed to have done all of its functions, all of its uh, obligations to do uh, during, uh, within a certain period of time and not to go on forever. Yeah, if you will compute, siguro, no, magkano kaya ang lahat ng ginastos ng gobyerno para i-finance yung, yung commission na yan sa loob ng uh, 50 years, almost 40 years, no? Hmm. Uh, baka mas malaki pa yung binastos natin dyan sa pag-maintain ng body na yan sa kanyang operasyon only to be dismissed because they lost the original na evidence at hindi, hindi na magbasa yung kanilang mga Xerox na mga presentation they dismissed na ng Supreme Court hindi na kuha nyo in exchange for how much we spent Well, uh, it's, it's probably unfair to uh, judge them with by that after the fact but uh, it's enough to say na uh, if you're not yet done now, there's something wrong with you and you should be stopped now. <laughs> diba? Uh, and not because uh, Marcos is a president, is the new president, but because wala na kayo yung silbi. You did not do your job if, if uh, you haven't achieved anything, but they did achieve uh, things. And uh, I think that is enough. That's yeah. enough. And not only that, uh, two presidents of, uh, who are family related to the to the the one who created you, and then and all. So, kung you had your chance, and then there's nothing mm-hmm. going on. So, yeah, that's enough, no? Para matapos ng interest naman ng bayan, no? Para, yes, interest naman ng bayan, hindi yung interest ng presidente, oh. ala, 30 plus years ago. Yep, yep, correct, correct. So, uh, ano yung sabi mo? So, after na, ano? Um, yes. Ano naman yung interest na yung mga, uh, Yan, yung mga interest na ng mga pamilyang nasira sa mga usapang ito. Okay, uh, ang inapansin ko siya, I posted something on uh, Luminous last night. Mm-hmm. Saka dito sa aking private uh, Facebook account. About what I noticed was uh, something that at that time, eh, parang lang siyang wala. Parang it was just a joke, a uh, uh, running meme um, joke. Ganyan. Yung mga ano, yung mga follower ng isang, ng isang mga kandidato, mm-hmm. na yung nagsasabi nga, iiwanan na ang punin mo ako dahil iiwanan ko yung mga magulang wala. Layas ako dahil yung mga magulang ko ay BTS o buboto sa kay Marcos na magnanakaw at uh, kay anak ni Duterte. Ganyan. Okay. So at that time, let's contextualize that. At that time, 
Hindi kaya been just a joke. Diba? Na, <laughs> kaya, na, piro, piro lang. But, kasi usually, pag uh, ganyan, pag hindi sineryoso, meaning by not sineryoso is, hindi ka talaga lumaya sa bahay nyo at kanila uboto ka ng ibang kandidato na uh, opposed doon sa inuboto ng pamilya mo. Mm-hmm. Ayun, ang kapatid mo, o yung nani mo, o yung anak mo. Mm-hmm. Uh, pinalayas mo yung anak mo dahil iba, eh, nga, eh, hindi mo actually ginawa yan. Or you just said it online just to be funny or to be smart about it. Yeah. But when it, uh, when it goes on being said and being uh, expressed on uh, placards, kayo sa mga rally, you know, oh, iwanan ko yung walang kwenta yung magulang ko and then posts in the social media. And then suddenly in actual, actual act uh, of disowning your mother or your father or your sister. I read yung open letter mm. ng anak ni Loren Ligarta. Mm, that one, that one. And as I was saying, you know, hindi ako masyadong nagsusulat or alam mo yun, nagsusaw-saw sa pain. Kasi kaya nga, I think that's the campaign. It's how dirty it is. I don't wanna uh, involve myself in the dirt. Okay? But uh, I was personally uh, affected by it in a way na parang why would this Rappler publish it and not denounce it. In fact, parang promote it as if, look, see? Parang, yeah. If you are uh, in the business of communication, uh, you, you promote, pagdating sa kailan sa family values, uh, you promote positive family values. But a child is only his parents because of a political uh, political position. In general, not just, it's not just about Lauren. In, in fact, inside your families, mm-hmm. like me, huh? uh, my, my daughter, who is very small, says she is for BDM. Mm-hmm. And then uh, her cousin says, I, know, I don't make any. I'm like, I don't make any. No, let that be. Mm-hmm. Each person's political stand, or I know, maybe even guide their their analysis or their, I know, but you cannot condemn anyone inside your family. How oh, are you going to say that? Mm-hmm. But you cannot condemn or do not respond uh, based on a political, uh, political choice position. of uh, no, candidate in an election. Uh, yes. Why do we say this? And it's not uh, you can vote it. Right? It's yeah. a young issue. Is you can, if you really want to, inside your family. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. That we publish it, it publishes it and makes it appear like it is good. It is good in that many of your followers that and your right. voters and your supporters actually mm. condone this or actually promote this mm. kind of attitude or that behavior. Is right. um, that is the problem. Why? Because the the singular foundational unit mm. of a society, of a government, of a state, is a family. Is, it is a family. Okay, and there is a, an entire uh, body, a chapter on the family in the Constitution. We have an entire a code on the family. It's the family code. Yes, and, and we have a courts, uh, especially uh, instituted to handle family uh, issues. So, family is very important. And here is a candidate. Na, hindi ko naman sinasabing itong kandidato na to ang nagpasimuno nito. I don't think so. Uh, yun, ang hindi lang kasi niya ginawa ay because I believe na gano'ng katanga itong mga kandidato na to o katalino o ka ano, eh, she was still able to uh, raise two girls Womanhood. And, uh, no, these no, girls, no, oh, and these girls are successful. They, they went to the uh, uh, Ivy League school, and one is a doctor, so it's, it's good. Uh, the mother uh, did something right. Okay, so it is unfair to judge uh, this candidate uh, as a mother. Oh, but it's not fair. That's the menu below the belt. Oh, eh, because you cannot say that just because a person is a uh, granted na sabihin natin yung bobo talaga siya, no? Eh, mahina talaga ang utak. But it does not necessarily mean that she is a bad mother to, to, her, to her own children. And, and, and she proved that, that that is not uh, the case, that she is, in fact, a good mother. Because 
uh, daughters are successful. Doctor, yung isa, yung isa nag-aaral sa Harvard or wherever. So, it's never an issue. That is not the issue. Ang issue is, you, you kept mom about this uh, emerging attitude that maybe started with a joke, but then later on, somebody made it real. Hmm. And published it. And, and published it. And, and the publisher also condoned it and, and made it seem like it's okay to break up a family over a political and electoral disputes. Okay. It's still a pattern. It's still a pattern. Uh, anong uh, ideologiya ang nagpo-promote talaga nito? Uh, and that, uh, we know it that uh, yung recruitment ng NP, ay eh, ganyan nga yung, uh, yung ano, yung pinopromote na uh, pag yung pamilya mo, ayon na siya ano mo, tas ka dyan. Sama na ka na sa amin. Yes. Ang uh, nagsabi na siya yung broken by the NP in that way. But I don't think that the NPA was the source of this kind no, of thing. No, no, what I mean is the strategy. Yeah, there, is a, there is a strategy that's it's similar. No, 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 what I mean is, in that movement, breaking up families is okay. Mm. Okay? It doesn't matter to them. Uh, kumbaga sa ating susidad, sa ating konstitusyon na pinaglalapan, or sa ating, na hindi man pinagkaya kailangan ipaglapan, na ating pinakaniwalaan, ang pamilya ay mahalaga. Yes. But in this movement on the other side, on that so-called communist movement, in fact, we don't know if they make any declaration, but in practice, and we know that uh, uh, their indoctrination includes, uh, alam mo yun, parang your family, is, uh, hindi, hindi yun siya mahalaga. In fact, hindi siya mahalaga. In fact, procreation is a uh, function of government uh, of their groups, um, Sister, like for example, sabihin ni Commander, kada sa kung magkana kayong dalawa. Hmm? Ipapag programa ka dyan. Okay. Hey, what I mean is that they have a totally different outlook on the value of the family and hmm. the value of relationship between children and their parents. Kasi sa, sa kanilang ano, ano na, or sa, sa pagkakaibig ko, tsaka ito yung mga sinasabi ng mga returnist nila, na yung indoctrination sa kanila is na pag yung nanay mo, so ayun, umalis ka dyan. Hindi yan sila mahalaga. Ang mahalaga yung... Uh, well, yeah. my, my understanding of, uh, of, of, of Marx and Engels and Genin and Mao is that... Hindi yan siya nakapasi dyan, pare. Oh. Ito, ito, ito sa Communist, ito sa NP, there is a basis for that. Eh. Mm-hmm. Ang, ang sinasabi is the interest of the... Of the, uh, the state, oh. okay, or, or the uh, communist uh, <laughs> ideal is more important because it involves every one of us, all of us. And uh, all is more important than the individual. Or, or, or that the family or a smaller unit, which is a, a classmate or batch in high school, the state or the, the, the social organization, which is the, the commune, is more important. And the interests of this organization is overwhelmingly uh, heavier than your interests with your parents and with your siblings so and that. from our society, which of course that the family is, is the foundation. Not only that, uh, untouchable, unless so many stringent conditions are met before the state can interfere with your family matters. Tama? Yes. And, and, and it's so easy to, uh, the law and our constitution has put in um, protections to, to make sure that the, 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 the family inviolable. is kept uh, safe and inviolable. But, but the other side of that, which is, uh, is it is so vulnerable to is the society. Because not everything is governed by law immediately until uh, there is a, a complaint and brought forth. Eh, wala, wala, wala pang kaagad uh, reaksyon dyan na uh, mahukulong ka o mapipinalize ka. But there's the society, and the society is a, you know, parang hetero ay parang siyang, ano yun, parang siyang, uh, uh, parang siyang gooey na, na eh, ano ba, gel, o ganyan, o yung parang uh, clay, na hindi yan siya kagad na solidify on a certain principle or a more or rule of conduct. Such that, pag nakita ng maraming tao na, oh, if people seem to agree on this kind of attitude or behavior, then it's probably good. And those people who are not yet 
um, in the proper uh, uh, level of understanding of maturity oh, to understand wow. and to, to, to uh, temper their actions in relation to what they are uh, witnessing, they might fall victim to this uh, uh, really stupid kind of uh, of, of uh, emergent uh, idea or, or behavior. I don't know if I can read the new batas on good morals and right. More, I mean, more than the same. I see, uh, don't uh, right. I haven't, uh, I haven't, uh, with whether Pushino and the gender covered yet. Does it cover the society or is this just for schools or families? Uh, oh, well, does it involve also your relationship with the institutions to children? I do not know. Hey, if I remember, I like, we had that in, 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 uh, grade school in, uh, I, school. I don't know if it's just about schools teaching it or what. I do not know. I, I think that no one, because that was included in the curricula. Uh, it was, it was, uh, assumed or uh, presumed. Now, as time goes by, ang mga matatanda ay alam na nila yan because they went to uh, childhood and went to school and we were taught that. And ngayon kasi, uh, we took that out. Okay, we took that out uh, for some stupid reason and I don't know why, but ngayon, wala na masyadong uh, focus on that. Okay, ngayon, di binabalik at may patas na ginawa dyan, it's probably going to go to uh, spare one. Na lahat ay i-train and maybe even the adults will be uh, informed on this matter. But there it is. Uh, is that rule there that uh, everyone must uh, act in justice or anything? Everyone must act, you know, uh-huh. must give each, uh, each person his due uh-huh. and uh, act with good faith. Uh-huh. And, uh, that is a general uh, and general about our relationship with each other. So, mm, so will. Uh, alam mo yun, when this tragedy matters, ganyan, ganyan, for, for, an, for, for society or an institution or an institutional uh, uh, group, uh, well, that's it. Why, why did we bring this up? Because uh, it's it seems na kung meron nga ang gumawa noong uh, what began as a joke or sa meme, meron nga gumawa niya na lumayas nga talaga to, to express the support for this candidate. And what happens now when she lost the election? And these are, are just young uh, adults that they just reached 18 and they were able to vote. Kung lumayas sa bahay at nagpa, nagpa, nag, nagpaka-independent in order to vote. Na have a happy or uh, peace and quiet about the the first the child's uh, choice. But now that natalo yung kandidato niya, ano nangyari? Adapt pa yung kandidato? Itong ilang million-million ko, ginawa talaga yun ng mga bata. Anong mangyari sa mga bata na ito? Now we have an entire generation of like suddenly parentless people. But in fact, we actually have their parents there and there was there could have been a chance that uh, they would still be with their parents now. Only, only somebody, the leader that they supported, told them what the hell was wrong with what we're doing. Yeah, but I, I think I wrote something about the Christian halftime. Ito yung sinasabi ko na before they can reach that point of acceptance that they, they are defeated, um, they must uh, surpass that uh, point first that uh, yung kanilang condescending uh, condescending uh, na pananaw dun sa mga tao sa lang kanila. I mean, by condescending, actually, it's not about this election. It only highlighted the, the, the way they really do it. It's mm. like their passion about this subject revealed their real, uh, their real, uh, or see, or I mean, the real uh, thing that they, the real uh, level of valuation they give to this person or that person who may be a friend or a parent or, or what have you, diba? Or an uncle or a sita or... or yeah, yeah, five minutes. Yeah, okay. So, anyway, uh, parang sa akin, connect natin sa political interest, ito mga bagay na no interest, of no interest to promote, diba? Mm. No interest of no interest. Okay, anyway, uh, ano po yung sinulat matali? Uh, okay, uh, well, well, para sa akin kasi na, the problem with this is that this candidate calls herself uh, the mother of the nation. In, 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 uh, and, and what, look at the effect of uh, 
her uh, groups, uh, you know, going uh, crazy on this thing. Uh, you actually broke up families, and 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 at the same time, you say that you are supposed to be going to be the mother of this nation. How how is that? Uh, how is that? Uh, congruous with its uh, how is that congruent? <laughs> other. I wrote about this. Uh, if you look at my post, I talked about wisdom. Okay? Wisdom. Wisdom. And the mysterious uh, mysterious phenomenon. I, I I dare you if you wanna I know wanna argue on this now. Ever since people have uh, uh, regarded any leader that they bestow that position to suddenly becomes uh, the source of wisdom for that group. And this uh, this uh, this uh, notion has been uh, institutionalized by uh, that uh, St. Augustine, right? Now, the crowning of the king, even, you know, uh, way before that, that uh, idea, uh, the Pope becomes infallible once he becomes Pope. Why? Right? Mm -hmm. What happens there? And then the king having the wisdom of the king. Okay. But the wisdom of the king will not be there one second before it becomes king. All right. So okay. how so that the people? That be okay. I believe there is something esoteric here, but uh, it cannot be proven by science, but that's why we do not talk about it. But in, in principle, we agree almost naturally that whoever is the leader becomes a possession in possession of wisdom. So, yun yung sinasabi ko doon na... So, so oh, sinusunod ng mga followers no, 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 niya? No, 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 yun yung expectation. Kasi pag naging presidente siya, magkakaroon na siya ng wisdom. Uh, yeah, that's really crazy. I mean, if I see to gas and say that, then uh, he should hang it. Kaya, so mo magkaroon ng wisdom, hindi yung mga presidente ka. Alright. Uh, <laughs> then again, okay, so, what if, what if? Uh, uh, these uh, people, uh, because nobody actually followed through on this one, and I just uh, thought about last night. What about we, we we look at those people, those kids, kasi karamihan ang nagkakagano ng mga bata eh, and I'm not even sure if they could already vote. So if these were kids, and they were still not eligible to vote, then probably they didn't do it, they didn't leave their families, it was just a, a joke. But for those people who were old enough to vote and actually left their family in conflict, oh because they wanted to vote for support for another candidate who now lost the election, we now have an entire population of people na walang magulang, na walang na lost. So si, sino ngayon ang uh, maging ipatayo sa kanilang uh, ano? Alam mo, sa tingin mo, kung sino rin yung nagsira? Sa rin dapat ang magsasol. That begs the question now. So uh, did uh, this candidate actually just leave us with a very big problem just at the point when she is uh, leaving her office and her responsibilities as a responsible official because now she's no longer she's ending but her she, terms but she's not the one who published it well she is not the one who published it but uh, she she has to stop it with the uh, correct with the uh, ah, commission and we should also look at the publishers the, those people who have you know, brought it out there without without uh, parameters of how to understand it and how to it. Uh, yes, because I understand. I, I believe that uh, there is no absolute freedom of the press. There is yeah. responsibility for what the hell you put out there that will destroy the moral fiber of the society. And you must abide by those principles that we declare of the state that we are now any kind of an act that is uh, contrary to those principles. All right. So uh, with that, so we will end this. Uh, it's a come come by on a session with, let's, with this question. Let's, let's Next week, we will come back on Monday and Tuesday and the Thursday. Uh, we will leave with, with you with this uh, thought. Okay? Uh, thought. Uh, what do we do with these children now who actually believe that they can pick a fight with their family and abandon their families on such frivolous choices or matters such as a candidate in an election? Okay, and let's talk to you again uh, next week. Thank you, and I'll see you next week. Bye! Tambayan sa DWIZ!